So let's talk about stress incontinence and the treatment for it. Hi, I'm Dr. Shaki from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy in Irvine. Stay tuned. All right, so you have stress incontinence. Just to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Stress incontinence is when you're laughing, sneezing, um, maybe exercising or you know coughing, whatever, exerting, and it causes stress on your bladder and urine comes out. So is that because you gave birth? Is it because you got pregnant? Is it because you're obese? Is it because you're a smoker? Is it because you're an older man with enlarged prostate? Not necessarily, but then it could. So what is the treatment for it is the subject of this video. And the treatment is not to use um, diapers for adults or um, cover yourself or squeeze yourself tighter before you sneeze or go change your panties or take a shower or um, just live with it or modify your life based on the limits because this thing keeps getting worse and worse. The right treatment has to do with strengthening not only the pelvic floor muscles, which is not just the muscles on the outside where the uh, private part and the anus is, that's the outside part of the musculature, the whole inner lining of your pelvis has the pelvic floor muscles, but the floor is not just free floating. There are parts of it, uh, every part of it is connected to your pelvis. So the alignment and the positioning of your pelvic parts, which is your sacrum and your ilium, that's three bones, are, is important. If they're nice and tight because the connective tissue that kind of glues them together, not necessarily glued, I shouldn't use that word, kind of keeps them together is that what's the integrity of it? How about the integrity of things that are connected to the pelvis itself? Can you point here? We're talking about right here. So where if the pelvis is right this area, we're talking about the integrity of connection between these big flat bones to the sacrum, the attachment of the hips, attachment of your your uh, lower back we're talking about the positioning of your pelvis forward or backward all of these impact your body and influence it if you have stress incontinence the solution is not to use the devices like I mentioned or using the things that I already the products I already mentioned a lot of times people go to a special kind of physical therapist that works with pelvic floor muscles. That uh, physical therapist goes in through the vagina and or anus and works on doing maybe even biofeedback, incorporating breathing with the musculature on the inside. But how about the rest of these things? How about strengthening those muscles? So while we can condition and incorporate breathing with the treatment, which is crucial, that's partial treatment. The right treatment should include the movements of all of these and strengthening of the pelvic floor muscles themselves, which only come through Kegels, not one or 10 or 50 Kegels a day, which we all know no one does. There's a machine called Amcella that is FDA approved for incontinence. In our practice, we use it for all pelvic floor dysfunction. So it provides 400 Kegels a minute. That's more than one a second. Over a course of 28 minutes, provides 11,200 Kegels. So this is how you strengthen it. Now, there are offices that only do that as the solution to stress incontinence and that's also a mistake we can't just grab a portion 
of the problem, address it and expect the whole problem go away. We need to address the whole problem. So that means strengthening the pelvic floor, incorporating breathing with the pelvic floor, uh, musculature relaxing or contracting at the right time. If it's too relaxed all the time, that's a problem. If it's too tight all the time, that's a problem. It's off balance. If you're having weaknesses in the lower ab, and no, I'm not talking about starting doing abdominal crunches. It's a horrible thing to do because abdominal crunches don't work. Your musculature is not weak in isolation. It's not performing in connection with the rest of your body. All of these need to be worked. So we're talking about developmental kinesiology, moving your whole body through exercises that all babies do automatically. We all have done automatically to address it. We use machines like Amcella to strengthen the pelvic floor muscle. And all of those together will put the whole picture together. And now you need to maintain it on your own. If you have any questions, if this makes sense to you, check out my website. It's full of valuable information. If you have any questions, contact one of the methods of contact in the description box to contact me and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.